also getting fatter. Are you taping? Yeah, I got this. You can edit this. <laughs> All right, next. <laughs> What's really amazing and really cool about this project is it's kind of hitting a lot of needs that not only East Village needs, but all of downtown needs. First of all, we need more grass. Everyone wants more grass downtown. All right, all right, all right. There's Fred, right? <laughs> yep, there he is. I am standing in San Diego's iconic Seaport Village. What Seaport Village is known for is kind of being a cutesy, quaint kind of cutesy like little area little shops little restaurants you kind of sit on the water enjoy something get a little trinket a san diego shirt maybe mexican tile uh, a lot of little mexican houses around here is that can i say that <laughs> spanish houses is that what am i allowed to say spanish, spanish houses don't know oh no i'm starting over okay <laughs> <laughs> uh, without disrupting obviously our electrical connection to modern earth or modern times or whatever yeah modern society good good word thank you thank you you're like a thesaurus over there and we're breaking the barrier of the fourth whatever is that what that's wall, supposed to be wall. wall there it is director's not supposed to talk right edit, that's edit hey i watch end. reality tv and they're doing that now to, to involve everyone they love it um lost my train of thought oh. got it back yeah so the substation is still there so imagine being able to stand on top of the convention center up there overlooking the bay overlooking Petco Park and all that stuff. And we're not even gonna have to pay for it. It would be a hotel tax. A hotel tax, just raising it, you know, a few pennies on the dollar and have outsiders pay for the awesomeness of the city. I mean, they're the, they're the ones using the convention center, have them pay for it. So I love it. Some people don't, I don't get them, but that's quite all right. <laughs> so now um, <clears throat> what your name is, you're the go-to guy. And then um, if you're thinking about real estate downtown, Give me a call and we'll go catch a drink or a ball game, something like that. All right. Should wait. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wait for them to walk up. Uh huh. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Name what? I'm sorry. Oh, so your name. I'm David Spivak. I'm a realtor in downtown San Diego. I'm in front of the Petco Park. So you're basically just kind of highlighting what okay. your name is, where you're, you are. A lot of exciting development, you know, downtown. If you're interested in real estate or just having a chat about it, let's, uh, you know, maybe grab a hot dog and go to a game or overlook it or is there any place that there's a good drink place that you could go that you would yeah basic I mean, everyone loves or basic you have to coffee <laughs> let's go grab some tequila or your the, what was it the bourbon place yeah well story house already closed that one no, uh, grapes and hops we get the bottle and then drink it on the street there you go <laughs> i'm david spiewak your go-to downtown realtor Perfect. Something else, right? Yep, 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 and then now like... <laughs> All right. So walking over the bridge over here, if you can see, the bay's over there, the city's over here, the pedestrian bridge takes you from the bay to the city. We were walking over there and we saw some awesome luxury yachts parked in the bay. It's one of the greatest things about San Diego. I don't own a boat. My favorite boats are the boats that other people own. But if for some reason someone talks me into buying a boat, I already have a name picked out. If you guys had a boat and not someone else's boat, what would you name yours? I love live music. I always loved David Bowie. My name is David, and it is a boat. So I figured combine the two, a little play on words. I would name mine David Bodie. Comment below and tell me what you would name yours. All right, all right, all right. And East Village Green will also just be one block wide. So it'll be in between F Streets here. So if you're leaving the 94 and driving into downtown, you'll pass the park. And G Street, which is one block south of here from where we're standing right now. What's also really amazingly awesome is they're going to be burying some parking spots. So they're going to be adding around 185 parking spots underground. It really is just such a waste of space. It's not even a parking lot. It is literally just a gated nothing. You know, maybe someone tried to get in, lost his shoe. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know what they were doing there. It's just going to be a huge, fun walkway of people walking around. Um, you know? I don't know what else to say. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I could wrap it up pretty yeah, well. Yeah. But, um, you know, uh, actually, and scene. Yep. <laughs> so <laughs> let's, uh, you know, let's just take a look at the other areas and aspects of the park. And maybe we'll go to different, not maybe, we're definitely going to go to different areas of the park. And I'll point out what they're going to be building based upon what part of the park we're at right now. So again, on the southeast corner of uh, 13th and G Street, right around here is where the performance 
area is going to be. It's going to be set in a little bit. And this is all going to be, again, surrounded by just open space, ping pong tables, a lounge area, and it's around 11,000 square feet um, of just open space. They so said G Street, so this is F. Oh my God, okay. So just say that part over. Okay. And I can, I can splice it in. What did I, okay. You said uh, 13th and G. Right, but I'm on F. F. All right, yeah. All right. But this is definitely where the, that's going to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just say that part. All right. So again, we're standing on the southeast corner of 13th and F Street. So on this corner, we're really kind of looking at the performance area, the stage and everything's gonna be a little set in and then surrounded by that open space. I am standing next to nothing right now, but let's fast forward two, two and a half years, maybe two and a quarter years to the summer of 2022, where I'll be standing in San Diego, downtown San Diego's largest urban park. And etc. So please contact me. Thank you. That was weird. I don't uh, usually do that. The and etc. Um, yeah. And say end real estate. Oh. And real estate. Perfect. All right, now that was a long walk. We are one block further east now. It's a long year. I don't know, what am I doing? Oh, oh, so <laughs> in this video. <laughs> and you won't get that, ticketed right? toad. Right, and you, you, won't won't get ticketed, you won't get ticketed or toad. I'm David Spiewak your go-to expert for everything San Diego, including parking, fake flowers, maybe some real estate. Ugh.